Guess what, everyone? It wasn't bad enough the first time, so now we present to you round number two of unusual Pop-Tart tests here in the Walsh Motors Test Kitchens division. Once again, my mother will tell you more. The box clearly states, limited edition. How outrageous can this be? A watermelon Pop-Tart? Artificially flavored? Who ever heard of an artificial watermelon? Maybe Does it's full say. of NutraSweet or something. No seeds. Wow. Well, let's see. Will this be a flavor that becomes part of their permanent repertoire? Who knows? All right, well, let's see. All I smell now is cardboard. There is no aroma uh, emanating from this box. No strong flavors that would entice me to go any further. I do like the color. I am attracted to that pink and green. I wonder if that's how the actual product looks. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Visual accuracy in advertising. Let's take a look. Here is the actual Pop-Tart, and there is the photograph. Well, let's toast her up and see what happens. All right. Give me some Pop-Tarts and I'll fire up the toaster here, and as proof that no joke is too awkward to make twice around here, we'll just stick them right in the toaster here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, well, we'll just use this one again. And once again, because we are so committed to realism here, we'll see if the toaster runs for approximately the same amount of time. I'm sure someone in the comments is pulling out their stopwatch right now and clocking that for us. Isn't that exciting? I'm so filled with anticipation, I'm speechless. I think we all are. I have a feeling this will catapult me right to the top of the most watched videos on YouTube. Again, bearing in mind that these are very, very, very hot. Here we go. All right. Do be careful. Don't While burn yourself. While they were yourself. toasting, I was reading the ingredients. Now, it does say artificially flavored frosted watermelon. There's no watermelon in the ingredients. However, there are dried apples. Dried apples in a frosted watermelon Pop-Tart. Now, just from an aesthetic point of view, it does look like the frosting is a little on the chintzy side. In the photograph, it appears that the frosting goes quite further out to the edge of the Pop-Tart, and here there's quite a large margin that lacks frosting. Hmm. All right, of course, there are no little black seeds, which could be chocolate chips. I would find that much more aesthetically pleasing when it comes to watermelon. The only smell that is recognizable at all to me is that of a Jolly Rancher hard candy watermelon. I do just get that little bit of an aroma. So, a little short on the frosting. Let's break it open. 
And what do you see? I see red frosting. The only real strong smell I'm getting is kind of a starchy, crusty, uh, carbohydrate kind of a smell. I'm not smelling anything that's rich and fruity or in any way enticing of watermelon. Well, I'll give you this. It tastes like watermelon to me, but it tastes like candy watermelon. It doesn't taste like real watermelon. It's too concentrated. It's too strong. But it's not bad. Well, if you get a good close-up, there's really not even a whole lot of filling in here. Well, what's your verdict? It just really tastes like sweet candy. Doesn't really have any flavor reminiscent of watermelon, reminiscent of fruit. It's just really overly sweet. The filling just really tastes like like a sugary paste, like um like a Jolly Rancher hard candy. All right, well, there you have it, folks, our thoughts on the watermelon Pop-Tarts. Kind of a disappointment, really. I think I like the bacon ones better, but even they weren't all that great. So, as always, thank you for watching. Do feel free to leave a comment if you have one, especially if you've tried this product, and I promise that more interesting videos will be coming up directly.